Hi Libra, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for June 2018. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Libra Sun, Libra Ascendant, and Libra Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Libra, now on to your June 2018 Psychic Tarot reading. <clears throat> First card you have here, Libra, is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is a card that symbolizes moving, changing your residence, you could also be moving from troubled shores to better shores. This card could also signify going on a trip, long distance travel, and maybe even having to commute for work or possibly changing where you're working. It's possible. You're starting to see the forest for the trees now, and some of you are clearing the dead wood out of a relationship. You do want to see something new. You do want to see something different. I do see some of you packing for travel. So some of you are traveling. I feel you're going to hear a lot of justifications of actions and it's going to be getting on your nerves. I feel that people are going to be, oh, they're justifying why they said this. Oh, they're justifying why they did that. And I feel like you're going to have it up to here with justifications. I see you feeling overwhelmed in June, like that there's too many, so many things to do or too many things to do because I see you having to take things out, put things away, do the, like you're doing a lot of moving stuff around and it could be because you're moving or because you're traveling, but I see you moving things around. Like you could be, maybe you're changing rooms in your home. Maybe you're moving, you know, this room is going to be now this kind of room and that room was something else. So now that's going to be this kid's bedroom and that's going to be a guest room. And this is going to like, it could be that kind of moving around as well. Don't throw out everything. If you get on the bent where you're like, Oh, I've got too much stuff here. I got to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of this and that. Don't, don't be too quick to do that because I see you having some regrets with throwing some things out that I feel later on you're going to wish you hadn't and I feel like some of the things you were get rid of would be old and they may belong to someone else they may have been handed down to you or given to you or something and now you wish like oh my god I wish I didn't do that like I get that sense for some of you I do feel like you're starting to feel better about yourself in June and if you've been out of shape I feel like you are going to be more in shape in June you may be talking to lawyers about some kind of dispute. Uh, it could have something to do with divorce papers or matrimony in some way. Uh, it could be if you're getting married, maybe you are talking to a lawyer, you want to have a prenuptial agreement. Um, but that's only going to be a small percentage of you out there listening to this video. I do feel some of you Libras may be working out how many of you can fit in a car to travel. You may be deciding to take a cross country trip uh, or go somewhere in a vehicle that you're like, how many of us can comfortably fit in this to go this far? It could even be a boat, literally. Uh, I know this is a guy in a boat, but, but it could be a car. It could be a boat. Uh, but I do see that coming up for some of you in June. Next, you have the Ten of Swords, and this is somebody lying to you and deceiving you and betraying you, or it could be somebody's passing away. I don't like to give negative predictions. I cannot control the cards that come up. I do not have anything against Libra. Uh, my sister is a Libra, and my uh, dearly departed father, whom I loved greatly, was a Libra, and I have some friends that are Libra, so... I'm not against Libra when the negative cards come up. I've been accused of that. You are going to find out that somebody's passed away. I feel this is not a betrayal card for you. Not that that makes you feel better, uh, but I do feel you're going to get news of that. Your other cards are good here after this, so don't get too wigged out that you've got one negative card here in this reading. 
It could be an accidental death, like they mix the wrong medications. I don't feel this is you. This is not happening to you. But it's somebody, you're going to hear about this. Um, I feel like it's an accidental death. Uh, either it was in a car accident or medications that got mixed together shouldn't have been mixed together. Or the person took the, a medication that they were actually allergic to and they didn't know. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, you're going to feel sad. You're going to wish it hadn't happened, but I'm going to tell you for many of you, this is to try to show you, I feel you're going to be sad about it, but I don't feel it's going to be like your whole world is totally crashed and devastated because, you know, there's different deaths of different people that you can feel that way about depending on how they affect you. So I do see you feeling sad about it. I hear that the death is accidental. So I don't feel this person committed suicide. And I, I'm not really getting the car accident sense, although it could be that. Uh, but it's coming up more to me like somehow the death had some kind of accidental thing around it. It may not happen in this month of June. It could occur in July. And as I said in the other signs, I just have to reiterate it here to the Libras. Any psychic reading you get private with me or other psychics or general, you need to listen to a year ago because this could have already happened to you a year ago. It could have already happened a few months ago or it could be coming up a year from now. The only reason I say that is because spirit guides do not view time the same way we do. To us, five years feels like five years. To them, five years is like a blink. So... Even though you want to know timing, people have free will, too, that can affect the timing, whether it's sooner or later. And you don't all have the same birth chart. You're not born all on the same day, time, month, year. Uh, you could be an October Libra or you could be a September Libra. Your birth time could be at 12 a.m. It could be at 4 p.m. Your timing is going to be different on these predictions is what I'm trying to say here. I feel like for many of you, this passing of whoever this was happened at night. And I feel like it was quick. So I don't feel like this was long and dragged out. I do feel it's going to catch you off guard, though, because I get the word stunned and amazed. So I do feel you're going to be sad. But the level of sadness I feel, it's not like the depths it could go to is what I'm trying to say. I, I don't know. I'm not trying to belittle it or minimize it. But you have other good cards here, so we have to see why, because it's not like it was one bad card after another. Here you have the Eight of Pentacles. This is learning a new craft, learning a new skill, uh, starting a new job, starting a new business. You're going to gain financial gain from whatever is going on here, because money attra eight attracts money to you. It's often called the card of the apprentice. You're getting really skilled at something. It doesn't matter whether you do this for a living or not. You could be learning a new craft or a new hobby and you're getting really super skilled at it or some kind of game you like to play or that somebody's taught you or you're getting skilled at something. You may watch this develop and grow. And you may even start working on this with someone else. So you and your significant other may start uh, your own business or a friend or, you know, another relative to you. You may join forces with them in doing whatever this is and they're getting really good at it. And it could be something you're just doing for fun right? and, and craft or uh, some new skill that's fun. But some of you are literally going to do something with it that would make money because you've got money here. You've got the card of money. Now, you could be spending a lot of money yourself on doing this uh, new craft or new thing that you're learning and getting really good and skilled at. But I, I, it feels more to me like money would come from doing it, not so much you have to spend the money. Some of you are going to have some money that's going to be trickling in from something. And it can be something you're getting school, school, skilled at and some job. Uh, 
but it could be coming from another source. It's very strange because I don't really feel like it's coming from a job you have because I see it trickling in and I'm seeing this wall that has a crack in it and it's like dripping money trickling down this wall. So it's coming in a different way uh, for you than how you would normally get your money, I feel. Many people are going to praise you and give you accolades for whatever this skill is that you're perfecting. Some of you are going to be selling something. You could be selling things online, but I see some of you selling something larger, like a boat or a house. Uh, it may involve uh, also interior decorating or something that has to do with design, like murals that you paint on walls or uh, faux finishings or something I don't know it's something creative you're getting really really super good at it and I do feel that may be how money is going to come trickling in for some of you you have the lovers card next this could be someone that you are romantically intertwined with it doesn't have to mean love it could just be sex and passion but sometimes love is indicated here with this card you have an angel watching over the couple, which is either blessing the couple or causing a disruption of for the couple, which could be uh, exes, your job, their job, kids, anything. So it could be an interference to the angel or a blessing. There's a lot of empathy here between the two of you and an empathic connection and being in tune with each other's needs. There's somebody that you're wishing you had more time to spend together with them. You're getting good feelings of love and or camaraderie. So if it's not a romantic partner from you, you could be having like a uh, good companionship and camaraderie from a friend, even though that doesn't usually come up to me here with the lover's card, but they're mentioning that kind of energy here for you. For some of you, you have a new romance that's going to be budding and blooming for you in the fall. So the fall to me is September, October, November. I did see the month of September in my head when they said the fall. Uh, but it could be you live on a different side of the world and maybe that won't make sense to you. So I would still go by September, October, November. Uh, but it's coming. You may be intertwined with someone that's having vascular issues uh, to do with their heart. That doesn't mean that this is this person here. It could be just somebody you're connected to or a love partner to you that happens to have that issue and it's a separate issue. I'm not feeling like they were connected. I don't feel that that was the Ten of Swords card. I feel better times are ahead and there's going to be a meeting of the minds about something and the meeting of the minds feels to me like it has to do with travel. Like you are going to be wanting to take a trip and whoever you're intertwined with, you're going to be working out the details and the logistics and you're going to be agreeing upon it. Don't forget you had the Six of Swords that came up in the beginning that did indicate uh, travel as well there. And you've also got it coming up here with the Lover's card as well. My guides are saying that to me for you. You don't believe in putting all your eggs in one basket. So I feel that you're going to start diversifying your portfolio should you have any money that is investable. You may find that in June, you may need some solitude and peace and quiet time because lately maybe you've been burning the candle at both ends or you've been interacting with a lot of people socially and there's been a lot of social you know, gatherings or parties or activities or a lot of social things that have been going on or a lot of commotion in your home or a lot of people coming and going and you may feel like you really want some peace and quiet time to yourself at some point in the month of June. The last card you have here is, a, is another good card. This is the Nine of Pentacles which is being at peace and contentment with your life and having financial stability and financial abundance behind you. Don't let people thwart your progress by being naysayers or poo-pooing any ideas you have or any projects you've been working on. 
Um, don't let anybody rain on your parade or act like that's not a good idea or, oh, you don't really know what you're doing. Don't fall prey to that kind of negative comments or anything like that coming your way. I see some of you are taking, if you have children, you're going to be taking out some of the money that you have either in savings or in an IRA or that's been invested in something and giving it to a child for something. Could be for their schooling, could be for a wedding, could be uh, maybe they want to buy a new house uh, and you will be taking some money out and giving some money to family. Could even be to a grandchild as well and or a grandchild. <laughs> this is a weird prediction. Wow, that was unexpected. Some of you may be obs become obsessed with perfume or scents of some kind. And you may be like buying all these different kinds of perfumes. You may want to mix your own perfumes. Maybe you're going to come up with something where you're going to uh, start selling perfumes and different baths, lotions, or scents. This could also be maybe you're going to be studying uh, aromatherapy and different scents of oils and floral scents and things that you could do healing for people using that or for your own self. That was very strange, uh, but I'm passing it along because it did come up here. Some of you may be putting together something that is... Uh, from generations in your family it could be a photo album it could be taking photos and putting them on a video it could be taking old films and converting them to dvds uh you know or putting them in some kind of like computerized format that you can watch them i don't know but i see some of you doing things or making scrapbooks of family, um, historical family events. Uh, I don't know, but I, or like maybe you're going to do ancestry, you know, like look up your family tree, the genealogy and that kind of thing. So you've got that coming up here, Libra, as well from this nine of pentacles card. If you have any issue where you can't get into your car, if your car, you're locked out of your car, or you drop your packages at the food store and stuff goes rolling uh, when you're trying to get it in your car or something that like, I don't know, something happens, you have a bystander that's going to help you. So keep that in mind. If you lock your keys in your car, you drop your packages or groceries or you leave something behind, there will be a bystander that is going to do something that will be helpful to you in June and possibly in July. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to subscribe Libra. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you're interested in getting the special videos I recorded for the mid-year of 2018 psychic tarot reading for each sign of the zodiac that I do every year in June that I did for my Vimeo on demand channel where I use the Hanson Roberts tarot deck and pulled five cards for you for the remainder of this year from June till the end of December 2018. You can access those videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below in the description section called the show more section below this video and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for the mid-year 2018 psychic tarot reading for each sign of the zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com click on the videos tab on my menu and it should be the first video series listed on that page. You click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Also, if you're interested in getting predictions for Uranus changing signs, it's changing signs from Aries into Taurus. It's changed on May 15th, 2018 and is going up until 
April 26, 2026, it will be in Taurus. And if you're interested in getting the predictions and messages I got from my spirit guides about that, you can get those Uranus Changing Signs four card psychic tarot readings for download and purchase by clicking on the other link below this video. And you can also get them on my website by clicking on the videos tab. And they should be the video series listed right underneath the mid-year 2018 Psychic Tower update videos. You just click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. So I wish you and hope you have an absolutely joyous and jubilant June, Libra. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace. Hey, and I just want to add a side note here that if you have not already purchased the yearly reading that I did, the five card psychic tarot reading for each sign of the zodiac for the entire year of 2018 that I posted back in January on Vimeo, you might want to check that out because there's still six months of predictions left on those videos.